When the Hayward Police Department earned Kalia reaccreditation this year, it reasserted its position among the upper echelon of all law enforcement agencies nationwide. The Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, CALEA, was created in 1979 as a credentialing authority through the joint efforts of law enforcement's major executive associations, the International Association of Chiefs of Police, the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives, National Sheriff's Association, and the Police Executive Research Forum. CALEA really is the gold standard for law enforcement on a national level and, and what that means is CALEA touches every single thing we do from the security on the outside of the building to how the cars are set up to how we investigate internal affairs complaints to our succession planning to our management achievement plan to how we adhere to law changes that come up on an annual basis. So CALEA is a wraparound 360 degree look at how the Hayward Police Department provides service and holds itself accountable to law enforcement and to the community of Hayward. In order for us to actually receive reaccreditation, we have to show that we've complied not just at that time, but for the last three years. So much of the, the file work that they're looking over, the assessors, they're checking for the last three years. Um, and then when they arrive on site, they're going to actually want to see a physical representation of that compliance over the last three years. Rob Sophie, the CALEA assessment team leader on site in Hayward said, Chief Urban outwardly expressed a desire to have the agency thoroughly examined, which was impressive. You don't always see that type of transparency and commitment to objective critique. It was really remarkable. It's important for the community to understand that we care about the quality of service that we provide. Um, without the trust of the community, we basically can't do our jobs. It's very important for us to have uh, their trust and earn that trust. I, I think the biggest deal was um, the issue of trust. And, um, you know, because again, police are perceived as a, a certain, you know, entity, a certain force in the community. And a lot of times when you actually organize and work with police, you, you learn that they're people just like anyone else, they care about stuff like anyone else, and um, in organizing with them, you know, we, we tried to express that. We tried to figure out how to, how do you give them real stories so that they, they understand that the, the Hayward Police Department really does try and get into the community, be part of that community, and communicate. I think CALEA accreditation is important, and I think the city of Hayward should be proud of their police department, knowing that we're accredited, and recognize that as us taking the next step in an effort to provide the best law enforcement services available. It's always good to have an outside entity come in and scrutinize what you do. They have a fresh perspective, they have knowledge and experience that they gain from scrutinizing other departments, seeing what are the best practices, what are the industry standards. We're only as good as we can be, but when we bring other you know, viewpoints, other perspectives in, it helps us grow. They're talking to, to miscellaneous people in the community, they're talking to victims, they're talking to witnesses, they're talking to complainants, they talk to everybody. And so, because there's no relationship in place when they come in, there is no favoritism, there is no prejudice. It really is truly objective. And I gotta tell you, it is incredibly gratifying and humbling to have somebody come in that you know is an expert and looks at police departments all over the country and says, okay, here's the deal. First of all, California law enforcement is heads and tails above law enforcement anywhere else in the country anywhere else and your agency you are in the top one percent of the one percent you are doing things right how amazing is that to know that everything that you're doing is on track the Kalia assessor's official report identified zero areas of non-compliance among the hundreds of standards examined moreover the assessment identifies hpd's juvenile diversion program as quote one of the most unique models of law enforcement counseling partnerships in the state. The benefit of CLIA is that it gives us a framework to consistently assess the demographics of our community here in Hayward. And in doing so, we can actually evaluate what those numbers are telling us and how we can change processes within the organization to meet the demands of our changing community. Here in Hayward, we're one of the most diverse cities in the entire Bay Area region. We have increased numbers of 
non-English speakers. We have a growing Hispanic community. We have businesses coming in every day. Uh, it's really important that as a law enforcement agency that we are keeping up with the demand that that's giving us. With the framework they provide for us, um, Kalia definitely brings a lot of value to us because we're at the table regularly talking about those numbers. What's really great about Kalia is it, it reassures both the community as well as the officers doing the work that we're held to the highest standard there is in the country. And so I, I think that's really important. You know, this is a department that's very based in community policing. We really believe in customer service and providing the highest level of service to the community. And as mentioned earlier, you know, I don't think by any far stretch that we're perfect, but our commitment to being better and to forging those partnerships and relationships is, is just intrinsic to what we do on a daily basis. Kalia, for me, as a division commander, it's important because it helps me maintain a level of awareness that had we not put processes in place and, and practices in place, I wouldn't get information. If I didn't have that conduit, I wouldn't be as informed as I need to be to make the necessary management decisions that I make. Where are we going to deploy our resources? What issues should we be focused on? Uh, we as an organization at times could become too internal and where I will make decisions based on what I know and what I think is relevant to the community. That's not always the, what's important to the community. One of the biggest aspects of CLIA accreditation is the reduction of risk and liability. Now, how that pertains to my job is the fact that every contact I make in the field has the potential for risk to my safety or the public and liability to the department if a citizen alleges that the services they've received were either unprofessional or unconstitutional. So the guidelines set by CLIA ensure that the services we provide are among the best in the nation and the citizens of Hayward can be confident in the fact that their officers are providing some of the best services available. One of my favorite quotes is that excellence is not a sometimes thing, it's an all the time thing. And that is a perfect parallel for CLIA. CLIA is something that we work on every single day by communication, staff meetings, making sure that what's being said at the top is also being messaged out to the officers in lineup, to my counselors, to my jailers, to my records clerks, to my secretaries. And the messaging is really, really important. And so that excellence is an all the time thing in this organization because we really believe in the CLIA accreditation process. The reaccreditation required compliance with nearly 500 professional standards measured in exacting detail by a commission of independent assessors. It affects everything that we do so that everything is scrutinized, everything is looked at to ensure that we're doing things in a professional, ethical, accountable manner. It makes sure in policy and practice that we're covering high-risk, high-profile oriented uh, practices like follow-up investigations and what should be done in a follow-up investigation and you know what should be done in the initial response. There are definitely components that CALEA recommends we practice. They don't tell us how to do it, but again, they tell us what to address. I never want to take away an officer's autonomy, but I want their autonomy to be based on something solid, something that they understand. Good, solid, thoughtful, legal policy and procedure. And with CALEA, we absolutely have that. When an officer makes an arrest, there's usually evidence involved. So we have policies and procedures and safeguards set in place for it. If the suspect's a juvenile, how that juvenile suspect is controlled and handled and moved through the system in a safe manner, not only for the detectives, but for the uh, suspects that we're taking their freedom from them. So it's very important for us to uh, to apply our best practices. Think of law enforcement as a tax-funded service. Um, the public paying taxes relies on the fact that we're going to provide quality law enforcement services to them. On the receiving end of it, that's answering 911, taking police reports, responding to crime in the neighborhoods, or follow-up investigations. Um, but in order to be able to do that effectively, we need to have those that accountability, the consistency, and the self-improvement from an internal side of it in order to provide those quality services to the public. Everybody in this organization is a force multiplier. And I would argue that my community is a force multiplier too. If you believe in us and what we're doing, 
and you are our eyes and ears. It creates much better partnerships and relationships out in the community. And the report cited many, many examples of great trust building efforts uh, in the community. Uh, it's almost like, you know, causing your own problem, right? So the HPD, you know, wants to get assessed and then find out what it may not be doing well or right or whatever because Kaleo will go through literally, you know, at all these different levels and say, okay, you got to change this or this is wrong or why are you doing this? And uh, again, for an organization to say, come in and open doors, look through our records, you know, see what we do. I mean, that's, that's a scrutiny that most people are like, you know, I would rather you not, you know, what do they call that, that blue wall type of thing, right? And um, I think what they're saying is, is, no, we have a blue door, you can come in. That's the thing that, um, again, people in Hayward should know. Rob Sophie, the Kalia on-site assessor, went on to say, The first reaccreditation has proven to be the single most difficult on-site assessment a department will face. Other factors that increase the degree of difficulty are changing the agency CEO, changing the accreditation manager and budgetary pressures. Hayward Police Department was able to overcome all of these challenges over the three-year period between accreditations, and that's one of the things that really distinguishes the department. It knocks down all these walls uh, that keep us from trusting each other. And I, you know, I know myself, I have a hard time <laughs> saying that, but, but we trust the Hayward Police. We work with them, we work with them very closely. And, um, and they know that. They, they've uh, taken us to other meetings where they've talked to other uh, police jurisdictions and have said the model that we have with the Hayward Police is, is what you need to develop trust in the community. And I want the community to be really, really proud and know that their investment in us, meaning they believe in us and they support us, um, they participate in a utility tax to help support public safety that that money, that funding, that resource is not going to waste. That we are committed to bringing that right back to them and the level of service that we provide to them.